Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 22 of How to Disappear by Sharon Huss Rote. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos and enjoying this book so far. And let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, please click off of the video now. You have been warned. My Instagram is going berserk after school with thousands of new followers and a steady stream of comments. I see you, I see you, I see you. When I get home, my mother is sitting at the kitchen computer as I walk in. There's no smoothie waiting. She points to the cupboard and says, get yourself a snack if you want. I'm not hungry, but I pour myself a glass of juice. Mom barely looks up from the, from the computer. That girl with the purple and orange hair is really blowing up. She's on the Ellen show and everything. That wasn't real. I say trying to keep my voice that of a casual observer. She just photoshopped it. Yeah, but now Ellen wants her on the show. Look, Mom brings up a YouTube video from The Ellen Show and leans back so I can see over her shoulder Ellen sitting on the set where she gives interviews. There's a picture of my Instagram avatar on the screen next to her. She's saying, have you seen this girl, Vicarious? She's all over the internet. My followers have been talking about her all week and how she's reaching out to kids who feel invisible and ignored and encouraging others to do the same. The image switches to one of me dancing with her. She posted this picture herself standing right over there dancing with me. And I thought, great, now I don't even remember who I've danced with. The audience laughs. And my producer said, Ellen, she wasn't really here. It's photoshopped. And then I was kind of bummed out because she looks like a lot of fun. More laughing the whole time. Ellen's talking. They're flashing my Instagram posts with Neil DeGrasse, Neil and Jimmy and Jennifer and the Foo Fighters. I thought, why don't we invite her for real? So Vicarious, if you're out there, we'd love to have you on the show. I stand there staring at the screen no longer breathing mom doesn't notice i bet they're all all kinds of imposters saying they're her she says yeah i say because the real vicarious would never go on the tv in a million years mom gives me a funny look why not because she's anonymous then she wouldn't be anonymous anymore she'd be famous as mom she's already is she already is famous i point out but nobody knows who she is she is vicarious mom gives an expert a sigh who she really is nobody knows maybe she likes it that way Mom turns and studies me for a minute, and I think that's it. Finally, she sees me, but she just shakes her head and turns away with a sigh. I retreat to my room shakily and rewatch the video a dozen times. I never thought I'd have it to add appearing on The Ellen Show to my terror list. Two hours later, Mom calls me for dinner, and I grab my phone from the dresser, which is a huge mistake. The notifications are coming in like lightning. I keep the phone in my lap under the table and glance at it. Once too often, Vicky mom says sternly, who's texting you? For one panic second, I expect her to ask if it's Ellen. I shove my phone under my leg. Nobody. Is it Jenna? Tell her we're eating, sweetie. I pretend to text Jenna, but instead I open Instagram, turn off the notifications, and log out completely. Or is it those friends from the bus? Mom says, the ones in that photo you showed me, you never did tell me their names. It's not them. Mom finishes chewing the food, and she scoops. She just scooped into her mouth and dabs her lips with a napkin. I'd like to know who you're communicating with online. Nobody, I say. It was just a game. It sends all these notifications. I turned it off. What game? Um, I... Candy Crush? I never play games on my phone, and she knows it. She reaches her hand out. Give me your phone. What? Why? As your mother, it's my right. No, it's my duty to make sure you are using this device responsibly and safely. Let me see your phone. I roll my eyes and hand it to her. She swipes the screen. Password? I shake my head. Give me the password, Vicky. She'll see the text exchange with Jenna and Lipton. She'll see my pictures of Vicarious, the one of Jenna and her new friends on the bus. She'll know I faked them as my own. The inv this That's an invasion of privacy. I'm not giving you the password. She stares at me. Well, since I pay for the phone, I'll keep it until you do. Obviously, there's someone on, on there you don't want me to know about, and that concerns me. There's nothing for you to be concerned about. I just want my privacy, Nora Dad says. Come on. No. Mom snaps at him. This is exactly how kids get into trouble, into drugs, or, or trouble with boys or with friends. They keep it secret, and parents are supposed to ask questions. That's our job, so don't tell me. Okay, okay. Dad shakes his head and turns to me. Vicky, could you please give your mother your password? I'm not using drugs. I speak as calmly as possible. I just don't want Mom reading my stuff. I won't read it. I just want to know who you're corresponding with. I clench my jaw and put my hand... Put out my hand so she'll pass me the phone, but instead of keying in the password, I go to the message settings and turn off show preview. That way, if Lipton texts me, it won't appear on the closed screen for all the world to see. I close my phone and hand it to her. I thought you were putting in the password. Nope. Dad sighs. Then it looks like you'll be losing your phone, kiddo. I shrug. 
Mom disappears in her bedroom with my phone. You really can't just tell her your password, says Dad. No, I say, I really can't. He sighs. You gotta pick your battle, sweetie. Is this the one you want to fight? She's the one picking fights, I say. I was just trying to eat my dinner. Mom walks back in. What's that? Nothing. I stand to take my plate to the sink. I'm not hungry. Shame, she says, stabbing the tortellini with her fork and popping it into her mouth. Just let me know when you want your phone back. I go to my room, turn on my computer. When I open Instagram, I nearly pass out. I have 827,000 followers and growing fast. I sit there staring at, at it long enough to see the numbers tick up to 828,000. At this rate, I could reach a million by morning. One million followers. It's too many to fathom. What does that many people even look like? I search. What does one million people look like? Images come up outdoor events where the masses have gathered. A million people meditating with the Dalai Lama. The mall in Washington, D.C. transformed into a sea of humanity. I imagine them all turning to look at me and stare and breathe. Vicky, my pulse pounds my ears. Wait, what was I thinking? I never meant for Vicarious to get this big. All I really wanted was to show Jenna that I wasn't a nobody, that I could be fun and daring and interesting to Jenna, not a million total strangers. I'll just delete the account. Simple as that. I'll put this all behind me and nobody will ever know. I frantically search the Instagram menu on my computer for the delete button, but there isn't one. There's only temporary disable my account. Click it, Vicky. I move the cursor over to the over the link, my hand trembling on the mouse. Everything will be so much easier. If I just step away, go back to my simple, quiet existence, be myself again, just Vicky, all by myself, but I can't stop thinking of the soon-to-be a million people who've come who've come to me and not because I wear a crazy wig and sunglasses and photoshop myself into stupid pictures it's because they want to be seen and because I saw them people like Adrian on and Ellen are seeing me too what message would send it if I erase them ever even tempor temporarily that I don't want them to s that I don't want to see them anymore that I never really cared in the first place I know how that feels I don't want anyone else to feel it I move my cursor over to the corner instead and click on the icon that takes me to my home page I toggle through my images I stop and read comments and reply to my followers I tag them I thank them I let them know that I see them and I am not leaving that is the end of chapter 22 I will see you guys in the next video bye